So guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to do something a bit different. I wanted to do a video talking about the many faces of Ditto, as I like to call it, or just looking at all the possible partners we can use with Ditto. Maybe, you know, some new partners can pop up in this video that could maybe shake things up with Ditto. I don't know, just a thought. Um, I also do want to talk about some team-up partners at the end of the video. Um, I thought I would do a video like this because I do want to record, I want to pre-record multiple videos. Uh, I guess like Monday and Tuesday. I'm probably not going to be able to make any videos because of college. I'm so busy. Um, so I probably won't have time to make videos. So I have to pre-record videos. I thought this would be a really cool, shorter video to make. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos where we talk about a certain card and, you know, all the different combos it works with and uh, how it influences certain decks, definitely leave a comment. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this video. It took a bit of thought out of me to make going through all the different partners and all the combos and all that cool stuff. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the many faces of Ditto. Now I want to talk about some of the more simpler partners first. The partners that are seen kind of the most play right now. Um, the most popular one is without a doubt, I think, Muck. Muck and Ditto is kind of a pretty good combo. A lot of decks are using the Muck right now. Muck obviously having that ability to shut off your opponent's basic abilities in each... Well, not your opponent's, both basic abilities, sorry. Really good against decks that rely on a Ranguru. Um, rely on Mars Shadow. This can shut down abilities like Lele and Rayquaza, which is also really powerful. So Power of Alchemy is seeing a lot of play right now. Alolan Muck is one of the strongest ability blockers in the game right now. Um, and you can get it in play thanks to Ditto. Um, another really obvious partner we're seeing is, of course, Macargo. Macargo has Smooth Over, allowing you to combo this with Lily, Kikui, all that good stuff. Obviously, this is a partner we're seeing a lot. Um, and then other obvious things, Zoark GX is pretty popular, Weavile, obviously Weavile, seeing play right now, Evil Admonition is really good, there are so many decks right now that have a bunch of abilities in play, Evil Admonition will clean them up, so stuff like Weavile, Zoark, Lycanroc, and Ninetales are another really big, obvious partner for uh, Ditto, you know, you can evolve Ninetales into Ditto, and you can use Mysterious Guidance, one of the best abilities in the game right now, um, and then of course Lycanroc with Ditto is also a popular combo. And uh, those are like kind of your main ones. Muck, Zoark, Lycanroc, Weavile, Macargo. Those are all like the very basic Ditto partners. Now we're going to go into some of the more niche ones. Um, so we got Machoke here I thought I would talk about first. Uh, Machoke has seen some niche play with Ditto. Daunting Pose is great because when you're playing against like Decidueye and when you're playing against uh, Spread Decks, this is a very powerful ability to have. Being able to protect your bench is really important. Um, Decidueye Zoark is arguably one of the best decks in the format right now. A lot of people will argue that. So Machoke is a great way to kind of counter those decks. So uh, Machoke is seeing a lot of play with Ditto right now. It's like a one of partner so that you can use Daunting Pose against Spread and also against stuff like Decidueye. Um, another really niche uh, partner that we're seeing right now with Ditto is of course Zeb Strika here with the ability Sprint allowing you to discard your hand and draw four cards. Um, Zeb Strika is seen play in a couple of decks, stuff like White Kyrim is playing it, Gramble is starting to play Zeb Strika now too. Um, so Zeb Strika is seeing some niche play with Ditto right now. Sprint is a really cool ability, it's a really good ability um, in certain situations. Obviously, if you have like a huge hand, you don't want to play this. But there are people that will play one Zip Strike in their deck because they already have the Ditto, and they'll play the Zip Strike because the ability helps them out, especially when you're playing Gramble and stuff. Um, another very niche partner is Garboder. Garboder saw a little bit of play with Ditto when, you know, this kind of first came, came to a thing. Uh, people just throw in one Trash Lanch in their deck. I'm pretty sure this saw play with a Malamar deck. So Garboder definitely is seeing some pretty niche play. And then of course we have Gyarados. Obviously Gyarados Zoark is a cool combo right now for Zoark decks. Uh, kind of took the format by storm when it first came out. Um, so it's a really cool uh, attacker. And of course Gyarados with Ditto. Um, usually Gyarados wouldn't be on this list because like, well, you can evolve it from Magikarp. Who cares? But Gyarados with Ditto is really good. If you get four carps in your discard pile um, and you evolve Gyarados from Ditto, you can actually do 200 damage with Venting Anger, which is really powerful. And it one-shots a lot of things, especially with a choice band allowing you to one-shot like even stuff like Zoark GXs and Gardevoir GXs. So Gyarados is another really cool partner with Ditto. And then, of course, stuff like Quagsire for Washout. 
And um, Naganadol, Naganadol I wanted to talk about also because some people are trying this out as an attacker in stuff like Zork Lycanroc. I've seen people talk about the idea of using Naganadol with Ditto so that they have like a turning point psychic attacker. This helps against Buzzle. Uh, but turning point can also work when you get in a situation where you have exactly three prizes. Charging up is also a cool ability too. So some people are actually using Naganadel in their decks with Ditto also, not just for the ability with like Blacephalon, but also just in general, because this can be a nice attacker for like Zoark. So those are like the niche partners. Now we're gonna go into some of the more unconventional partners. This is the part of the video that I like the most. Talk about partners that you can play with Ditto that can be really cool techs for your deck. We're gonna start off here with the two Blissies, a weird card I know, Blissey doesn't see much play, but both Blisseys have interesting abilities that you can use with Ditto. Uh, Fresh Egg allows you to, basically when you play Ditto or Blissey from your hand onto one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may heal 80 damage from your active. This could be a really cool combo with Ditto. They're both pink Pokemon, so you know what, you automatically get points for pink. But you can use Fresh Egg in certain decks, like healing. You can play this with like Wailord Magikarp out of, and you can also play this in Venus or Celebi when that actually comes out in the game. So Fresh Egg with Ditto could be a cool combo. Then we also have Happiness Supplement. Um, this Blissey could become a really good Ditto partner for decks once we get Venusaur and Celebi because that first attack that it has, confusing and poisoning your opponent is really powerful. So Happiness Supplement might have to be kind of the new ditto -y tech card. So this Blissey might honestly start seeing play with Ditto um, to counter some of those decks. A really slept on card is actually Delcaddy. Really cool ability, search for friends. When you place Pokemon from your hand to evolve on your Pokemon, you may put two supporters from your discard pile back in your hand. That is an insanely good ability. That is basically playing two versus Seekers for the price of one ability. This is a really good ability that you can use with Ditto. Imagine this just getting Ace Rolla and getting Guzma and um, stuff like that. That's really powerful. I honestly don't know why this doesn't see play in maybe stuff like Zoark or whatnot. Um, Delcat is really underrated in my opinion, and you can use this with Ditto. Getting two supports from discard pile in the late game is really good. And we have Gumshoes, just another niche card, but you know what? Gumshoes could be good. Gumshoe Chance can be a nice way to just boonk, bonk a uh, Garvor in the head and knock it out in one hit. You also have Search of Premises. could be a really useful ability knowing if you want to disrupt their hand or not, or just get a feel of what their hand is so that you know what your next move is going to be. Another really car interesting card that I don't see is talked about much is Herdier. Having the ability to treasure hunt is the same. Like Delcaddy, you play it on your hand to evolve on your Pokemon. Search your discard pile for an item and put it into your hand. Pretty strong ability. Again, getting an item back like an enhanced hammer, um, a choice band could be really useful. Herdier is another really cool ditto partner. And then I'm going to give it to Savali. Savali could be used with ditto for the ability Garo unit and giving you free retreat. Some all basic decks could take a custom to this combo of Savali Ditto. Savali is also a good attacker. It's kind of like Lycanroc in a weirdish way. So, and uh, then we got Altaria, another really niche combo with Ditto. You got Fight Song. Obviously, Dragon decks would play this, um, but who knows? If there's a Dragon attacker that doesn't play Altaria, you can run the 1-1 Ditto Altaria engine and have that extra 20 damage, if that 20 damage ever goes a long way. So Lazzle could be played with Ditto. Um, it's a one-time ability unless you ace roll it, but you have Hot Poison, which can leave your opponent's active burn and poison. You could combo this to take a one-shot, get 30 damage on the board. You can also use Cherim with Ditto. Uh, I could see Grass decks using this because of Blacephalon. Having the ability to get rid of your weakness can be pretty useful if you're playing like, I don't know, like a Leafeon deck or even Decidueye, I don't know. But any Grass deck really could use Cherim and Ditto because this helps against Blacephalon a little bit. Grovile could also be used. You're not going to play Sceptile in your Grass deck. You could just run a one Ditto, one Grovile engine. Um, you can also use Lorantis as a grass tech for Ditto because Sunny Day is a really cool ability. You can also use this in Fire, don't forget. So you can run like a one Lorantis and like Blacephalon. And this could be useful. You can actually discard less energies. And um, the 20 damage means that you actually do 220, which allows you to one shot Zoark. Just an idea. Raichu could also see play with Ditto. Another like one time thing like Salazzle. But the ability Evo Shock can auto paralyze your opponent with Ditto. Just an idea. Bayonet could be a nice one of in Ditto. If you're playing a Psychic deck, you can throw in like a Bayonet if you already play Ditto. You don't have to play Shuppy, you can just throw Bayonet in because you already have Ditto in your deck. You have Shady Move, Tomb Hunt, Shadow Chant. It's also resistant to fighting, so it's good like Buzzwool fighting counter. Uh, Shenenja is another cool Ditto 
kind of combo that I think uh, could see some play in the future. Sheninja's ability is really interesting, allowing you to put Sheninja as a tool card on one of your Pokemon, and when that Pokemon is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize. So if you put this on a non-GX Pokemon, they don't take any prizes for knocking it out. If you put this on a GX, like Zoark, they only take one prize for KOing your Zoark. That's really powerful, and you can use Sheninja through Ditto. Obama Snows can also be good. There's actually two Obama Snows, but you can use Obama Snow with Ditto, being able to place from your hand, attach Water Energy from your Discard Pile to one of your Pokemon. Decent Energy Acceleration. You could use both versions, the Grass and the Water version, doing the same thing. Sand Slash could see play. This could actually be a really good tech card for like a um, for like Gramble, so that you can use Sand Slash over Ranguru in case they muck you or something. Though obviously you can't use Sand Slash with Ditto if they already have muck in play, because you can't use Ditto. Glaceon could see like a one of and Ditto. Water Dex could run one Glaceon. Really nice hard counter to Zoark if you judge them and have Glaceon on the active spot. Your opponent just can't play trade, which is really powerful. Um, yeah, that's basically it for all of these techs. Another really interesting uh, Ditto tech card in Expanded, and this may or may not happen assuming a certain card gets banned. So Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick could be getting banned. It got banned in Japan. We could see a Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. Um, ban happen here in America. So Archeops could see play like they could unban Archeops since Maxis gets banned, which is perfect. And then Archeops ditto Busted combo. I don't know. Now we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the egg team cards that we're gonna be getting That are pretty cool partners with ditto. We're gonna start things off I'm gonna start off with nine tails. This is probably gonna see play the Cephalon once you're in turn before you attack You may discard two fire G cards from your hand if you do switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active so Nine Tails with Blacephalon and Ditto could be a thing. A really cool ability for Blacephalon puts energy in the discard for Naganadel, and then you also um, get a free like Lysander effect out of it. Pretty powerful. Nine Tails Ditto could be a new partner for Blacephalon. Uh, then we have this new Electrode. When you place Pokemon from your hand to evolve on your Pokemon during your turn, you may move any number of Light and Energy cards from your Pokemon to your Pokemon anyway. Like this ability is kind of nice. Again, you plop it on Ditto. You can use this with like a Zara Aura Coco deck or like Zekrom Pikachu. Um, and you can actually just build up a Zekrom Pikachu in one turn thanks to Electrode's ability moving your energy around freely. So this ability has some usefulness to it, I think, with Ditto um, and like Zekrom Pikachu. Then we have this new Muck. Your opponent's poison Pokemon remain poisoned even after evolving or de-evolving. If a poison deck ever becomes relevant, you do have Muck now. Um, so yeah, just just a thought you can poison their Zoroa and then they stay poisoned. I don't know just a thought um, There's another muck too that when you play it from your hand on to I think it's an Alolan muck When you play it from your hand to evolve which again you can use with ditto I think you search the top six cards your opponent's deck and discard all the items there something like that um, So that could see play with ditto Another one is Pidgeotto. This is probably gonna be the most likely new ditto partner to like kind of like a little muck How to see play in a lot of different decks once you're in turn for your tech you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, put the other card at the bottom of your deck. Pretty simple card with uh, Macargo and all these other combo cards. Good with Gramble. So yeah, I think decks can also play Pidgeotto with Ditto. So Pidgeotto will be a new one. The last one I want to talk about is potentially Aerodactyl. Um, it's not a stage 2 Pokemon like Rampardos and Tyrantramar. And Kabudops and Amistar are. They're all stage 2, so you can't use them with Ditto. You can use Aerodactyl with Ditto, though. I think. I don't know for sure if Aerodactyl works with Ditto. So this is why it's at the bottom. But Aerodactyl's attack is decent if you have no GXs or EXs in, on your bench. This attack does 180 damage. Don't know, man. Is Aerodactyl a new Ditto partner? I don't know. I don't know if it works with Ditto or not. But that is it for today's video. The many faces of Ditto Prism. Um, again, I wanted to do a nice shorter video for you guys because I have to pre-record a bunch of videos because I won't have time to do them for college. Um, so I won't have time to record. But I hope you guys enjoyed this piece of video. If you are down to see more videos like this, definitely leave a comment below if you have any more ideas for any other Pokemon that we could use for this video. Uh, leave a comment. Did I miss any Stage 1 Pokemon? What Stage 1 Pokemon do you have in mind? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching this piece of video. Subscribe to Helm the Road to 4,000 subscribers. We're almost at 3,800 subs. So help me on the road to reaching 3,800 subs and 4,000 subscribers. I want to see if we can hit through 4K subs by the end of February. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Have a good day. Goodbye.